Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing, crafting, and cosplaying videos here on my YouTube channel. I recently posted a video about the dress that I made for Peyton to wear to a local medieval fair. And I also made something for Jeremiah to wear this year. I made him a hooded capelet to wear. And so today I'm going to talk about how I went about making that. We made plans to all wear uh, green to the medieval fair since I had a green corset and uh, Jeremiah had been working on a cosplay that was all green and so when my mom had the green velvet for Peyton's outfit it all worked out perfectly but Jeremiah was in need of a hat still so he asked me to make him one and uh, so I did some Google searches and came across a couple different hat styles that would work out and one of them was a hooded capelet and I really liked the look of it I sent him the picture and he said that's what he wanted I had originally planned on just using a basic cloak pattern and just cutting the length off instead of being full length, just cutting it somewhere between the shoulder and elbow. And then when I was searching through my patterns for that, I realized that a pattern we had picked up very recently and I actually showed in my last haul video, which I will link below, um, there was a pattern in it that had a hooded cloak that had an extra capelet section on it. So that was perfect. I was able to use that and not even have to uh, adapt or change any of the pattern. It was a one size fits all so I literally just grabbed the hood pattern and the um, part that goes just like around the shoulder area and just completely ignored the rest of the pattern pieces in the package. We went to a local fabric store and grabbed one yard of fabric. It was 60 inches wide, which was not the length, or sorry, the width that the pattern layout used. So I completely changed the pattern layout and um, I just folded the fabric as wide as the pattern pieces and laid them out. I actually had laid them out a different way first and then realized they both had, um, the pieces were shaped kind of like this but I had them laying the other way first so they were taking up more space so I rotated them around so that they were still on the fold or the you know like they needed to be but they interlocked sorry I'm terrible at this they interlocked like this so that I was able to um, save more fabric and because of that I now have some leftover fabric that can be used for a different project later I then hemmed around the curved bottom of the capelet and that was probably the most annoying thing I've ever sewed. It was awful. It took forever. I ended up with like a cramp in my neck because I was having to like lean forward and pay so much attention to what I was doing on this double fold hem and it was like the tiniest hem in the world around a giant curve and whoa, I never want to do that again. <laughs> I also hemmed around the hood front which was much easier and then I sewed the pieces together and uh, serged the raw edges where the two met and then bound it with um, some bias tape instead of cutting a piece of bias from the actual material because I didn't want to deal with that. Then the hooded capelet needed a sort of closure. Uh, at first I was just going to do like a hook and eye kind of thing and then realized that that would look kind of silly on a man's costume where it's visible and it just looks so like wimpy and small. So instead, I found a um, a gold chain. It's not actual gold, but it's like gold colored chain. And um, it's big links. And I had always worn it in the past whenever I had dressed up in like a pirate costume or something. And so we cut that up and used two links and then the closure and then two more links and I hand sewed that to the capelet so that was how it closed and it just looked so much cooler than a hook and eye would have looked. So Jeremiah wore that to the medieval fair. It kept his head from getting sunburned which is awesome since he shaves his head and that is an ongoing struggle whenever we're out in the sun for an entire day like we were at the fair and it just it worked out really well it looked really good the only downside was the fabric we used uh, we went with a, a semi lightweight fabric um, because we wanted it to be breathable 
but because of that if we were walking into the wind the wind would sometimes blow the hood back off his head and um, you could not keep it to stay up sometimes for the life of you but if you were walking like with the wind or sideways from the wind it stayed up perfectly and looked great so that is the hooded capelet I made for Jeremiah and how it turned out I hope you enjoyed this descriptive walk through of the process I I never film projects like this because I'm usually in a rush or uh, I'm not sure how it will turn out don't want to deal with getting off camera but I do like sharing the projects with you all anyway and sorry for all the noise there's been my neighbor is rototilling and now my dogs are barking so yeah good time to end the video and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and I'll be back soon bye